Hey guys, welcome to Voice Bootcamp. This is Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about precision queuing and attributes. Now, first of all, well, I'm gonna split the video into two. I'm gonna talk about the attribute first, and then we're gonna go into precision queuing. Now, there are situations where most call center, for example, when a call comes in, press one for sales, two for support, and you would press uh, one, and you go to sales queue. Now, you may have agent from all over the world servicing sales, for example. But all these agents, they usually have different different criteria or attribute or skills that could be utilized more properly. For example, uh, you may need, a, may need uh, to provide a, a kind of a selection criteria saying, okay, we're going to select an agent in this particular queue who are if the call came from, let's say, U.S., you want to be able to select an agent who speak English very fluently, who are certified on certain things, and who are located in, let's say, city of Boston. Whereas if a call came from, let's say, India, you would select an agent who made all those other requirements except the location has to be India. So this is where the precision queue is very, very helpful. Now, one of the things that you need before you can configure a precision queue is called the attribute. Now, the attribute identify a call routing requirement, such as, should I select an agent based on language? Should I select an agent based on their location or their expertise? Now, you can create the two type of attribute, a Boolean attribute or proficiency attribute. Now the Boolean attribute is to is used to identify an agent whose attribute value could be the true or false. For example, to, uh, uh, locate, is, is, do you speak English? Yes or no? Simple, right? Or are you certified? Yes or no? Those are Boolean. Or the proficiency could be like the English language. Uh, you must have a nine out of ten. Uh, so if you are between 1 to 10, 10 being the highest ex level of expertise and one, uh, 1 being the lowest, you could say, okay, if a person is uh, has a, a, val a competency level of 10, that means he's very good in English. Or someone like me, you could probably label for 6 or 7, who after 30 years in Canada, I'm still struggling with the language. So in that case, you could put me into category of 6 or 7 so that... I'm not 100%, let's say, an expert, but I, I, I'm okay. I can, you know, people can understand me. So every company will have certain proficiency level, and we could use that attribute to establish a level of expertise in, in the range of from 1 to 10. So I'm going to show you how that is basically created. So when you create a precision queue, you will identify which attribute are part of that particular queue and then implement the queue in the script. For example, you will, ha you as an agent will have all the attributes, right? You say, okay, uh, agent one has attribute X, Y, Z. Agent two has attribute A, B, C. But then when I create the queue, I need to specify in the queue that what attribute is important to me. So when you assign a new attribute to an agent, the attribute value can be matched in the precision queue in the criteria agent will then be automatically be associated with that queue. So you don't necessarily associate the agent to a queue, you associate the agent to attribute and agent becomes part of a queue based on the attribute matching, okay? So that is very interesting way of routing calls to an agent. An attribute can be associated with more than one precision queue from multiple routing domain. So how do I create these attributes? Well, you do that from this page. And you would go to organizational setup, setup and you go to, let's say, skills. And then skills, you have, of course, you got sales skills and support, right? And if you look at on the top right corner, you have right in this area called the attribute. And this is where you create an attribute, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to create a couple of attributes. I'm gonna say, okay, um, let's say certified. Are you certified? So it could be yes or no, right? Two options. So default value will be false. And I'm going to say, are you certified? Then I'm going to say location. Okay, now location 
is located in Toronto. I don't know, maybe I'm supporting Toronto and uh, everybody else, right? So it could be true or false, right? And then by default value will be true. Then the language. And language, I want proficiency, right? So I want to say, okay, language will be proficiency level of 1 to 10. I'm going to start with 5 and then I can change based on the requirement. So I can say language has to be uh, 9. So the minimum language I, I expect the agent to have is 8 minimum. If the agent attribute for language is set to, let's say, 4, then the match will not work. So that is one of the, that's, that's why would, you would do that. So I'm, I'm going to set it to default to 8. So that is basically how you create uh, your attribute. Now, once the attribute is created, you go to users, or agent rather, so let's say agent 1, and here you specify the attribute to this particular agent. So I'm going to say agent 1 will have, so will be certified, yes, true or false. So yeah, agent 1 is certified, is located in Toronto, true, and language, okay, so he been born to Canada, so he speaks English very well, blah, 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 fine. I'm going to give him 10, okay? Uh, sorry, true. Uh, okay, so I got three options right there. So certified, yes. Is located in Toronto, yes. Language, 10, good. So now I'm going to select save. Then I'm going to go to agent number two. And agent number two, on the other hand, will be say, okay, he's not certified. He, he, however, he is located in Toronto and his language is 10. Okay, he's Faisal Khan. Okay, uh, so 8. So I'm going to give myself 7. So let's say I am that agent. So I'm going to select that. Certified. Uh, false. Located in Toronto. Yes. So these are the two criteria that you have assigned to agent number 2, which let's say uh, is me. So now I have agent 1 certified located in Toronto, has an excellent English language. Agent 2, moi, for example, okay, I am not certified. I am, however, located in Toronto, and then I have a language, a language expertise of 7. Okay, for an immigrant, good enough for me, okay? All right, so that is basically how you create attributes and assign them. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to organize them into your precision queuing, okay? All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you understood what attribute basically does, and I will show you how to use them in the precision queue video, and I will see you in the next video.